All right, so we just had some laptops stolen from us, and I thought this would be an excellent opportunity to show you um, both video playback and the backup system in Blue Iris. What was cool about this is that we were able to get uh, a printout of the people's face uh, and video footage burnt to CD within about five minutes. And we called up dispatch twice. First time is when the event happened. Second time is when I remoted into the system and got a description down to the T of these guys. So here we are in the Blue Iris. This is the live view window. And there's a cool option here. If you look uh, on the right hand side, you can click this selected camera only. And that makes it so when you select a camera, it's only gonna show video events from that camera. And I know that they enter the premises around 1.17 p.m. So I click the camera where I wanna start the playback and then I'm gonna look for about 1.17 p.m. We'll double click it and we can see, oop, I got the fast forward turned all the way up. So this down here, this is the fast forward. So if we wanted to, let's, uh, let's double click that uh, 17 clip again. And there's one of my guys there and he's, he's entering premises. And then this guy comes in and this is on a five megapixel camera. So, hey buddy, how you doing? We know exactly what you look like. You got a gray shirt, camel pants, white shoes. Well, what was great is we called the police and we, we gave them this very accurate description. So we'll hit play again, just to kind of see a little bit more of this. We'll slow it down. And then his buddy comes in. There's his buddy. And it looks like he's got a Chicago Bulls shirt. And let's pause here real quick. Let's take a look at this guy. Okay, he's got a gold watch, black pants, black shoes, and a funny hat, Chicago Bulls, gray t-shirt. So we have this description for the police like immediately. And what's cool about Blue Iris is that once you find a, a clip that you want to either print or, or just save it as like a JPEG, you can just right click it and go print, directly to a printer, now that's pretty cool. Or you can just right click it and go snapshot and it'll ask you where you wanna save it. So you could put it in like your Dropbox for instance and be like, hey Billy, go print this right away for the police if you're remoted into the system. It makes it just really quick. So we got this huge folder just full of, of uh, very useful uh, pictures with blown up face and everything like that. So that's kinda of how you do the snapshots. Now what's cool is that uh, you can actually trim and export these. So you'll notice this clip, if we kind of drag through it, it goes all the way up to, let's zoom back out here. The time goes all the way from like 10.58, and we don't want to give them the whole day, so let's use this little green arrow down here. If you drag this little green arrow, that's the start time for your trim. So I'm gonna drag this to about 1.17. And I'm doing all this remotely too. I am, this is not the uh, DVR computer I'm sitting at right now. We're, we're using Splashtop remote desktop to uh, log in to do the playback. Let's see here, do, 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 do. And here we are, 110. Okay, there's 117.38. And then we don't wanna give them the rest either. We're just gonna give them until the point where they leave, which is about 125 or so. Let's say 128. Okay, so now we have our selection here. Now we can right click the clip and we go trim export. Now with Blue Iris, you can, you can either export it in AVI format with no uh, re-encoding. Um, I actually do two formats for the police. I did one in MP4 format and I did one in uh, Windows Media format. And then I just specified a path on, uh, we have a shared network drive, but you know, you could select your Dropbox or whatever and we just put it in this folder called uh, Fuckheads. And we can see we have our two clips here. And the, the file size is very manageable. It's like a, a 6.5 meg clip and a 1.7 meg clip. And for a five megapixel stream, it, it, the compression works really well. Uh, also along with the, the MP4. And it's, it's not a total lossless compression, but it, uh, it does look really good. So eventually what we ended up with um, was this folder just full of these great clips. And you know, that you can zoom up on and and it's just, it's great to have this fidelity of footage because we, we called the police. Uh, they had printouts uh, right away and they're driving around with them. And, and if you need to look up footage for an incident that happened on your premises, you can, you can instantly print this footage and hopefully you hear an ambulance within the next 15 minutes or so.